All right, here we go with our last video in this unit, 8.5 electrolytic cells. Now, electrolytic cells are pretty much the opposite of galvanic cells in some ways, but not in others. The main way it's the opposite is that where galvanic cells actually were batteries, a galvanic cell is a power source, and electrolytic cell requires a power source to push electrons and they involve non-spontaneous redox reactions. So it's opposite in that they require a power source and that they're opposite in that they involve non-spontaneous redox reactions. They're also opposite in that they convert electrical energy to stored chemical energy. In, these case, in this case, oxidation and reduction occur in the same cell. There's only one cell for electrolytic, not two half cells. So there's going to be no salt bridge here. All right, they, now this, they're similar in that there's two electrodes, an anode and a cathode. Red cat and anox still apply. Reduction still occurs with the cathode. Oxidation still occurs with the anode. And like I said earlier, there's no salt bridge. All right, so now let's take a look. This is an example of an electrolytic cell. Here we have a battery, right? That's our power source that's going to push electrons. And we can see here there's a single cell. Now, a common thing that you'll see for electrolytic cells are going to be plating something. And here we have silver. And in this solution, there's silver nitrate, which is going to give us a G plus ions in our solution. So first thing we have to figure out is which directions are the electrons going to flow in? Well, as we've seen, electrons flow from a negative. So the electrons are going to flow this way. So that means the fork here is going to be gaining electrons. Right? Reduction is gaining oil rig. So that means oxidation is losing. So oxidation is going to happen here. So oxidation is happening here. Reduction is happening here. All right, red cat. That means this is the cathode. An ox. That means this is the anode. And it's almost that simple. So oxidation is losing, so our oxidation half reaction, Ag, is becoming Ag plus plus an electron. The silver is being broken off of here, and it's becoming Ag plus, while the electrons flow back this way. And here, the Ag pluses in solution are being attracted to the electrons that are coming in the fork and we have Ag plus plus an electron is becoming silver. Now something I didn't talk about in the last video but it's something we're gonna have to know here right as the silver is becoming silver ions that are going into solution our anode here where the silver is is gonna shrink and it makes sense because we're silver plating this fork. So the cathode is going to actually grow. It's going to get bigger. All right, question time. So when the switch is closed, which electrode will attract the sodium ions? That's a tough one. Go, you might have to go back and look at the video for this one. This one's easy. What's the purpose of the battery? All right, that brings us to the end, and I will see you guys in school.